And welcome back to Fantabulous Bags, where we do product development sketches for handbags and accessories. Okay, today we're going to continue with our uh, beaded clutch, or little evening bag, uh, French beading. Uh, so let's get to it. First thing we're going to have to do is figure out this little, uh, let's zoom in on it, our uh, little beading pattern here. We want to make this a repeat to make our lives a little simpler. So let's just zoom right in. What we have here is probably a little flower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the flower. I'm going to use a diagonal so that I can throw the pattern at a 45 degree angle. And that way I'm going to get a kind of um, a pattern similar to this. So that's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to copy our flower. And once we get that flower done, Let's, uh, and what we should also do is probably, let's get this. Remember one thing about beading is that they are not always, okay, they're, they're not exactly the same size because they're made of glass, they're not made of plastic, and uh, you know what, I'm gonna just do something else. I wanna try to do something a little bit more curved at the top and bottom, even though it really doesn't show that much, but. Every little detail helps. So I'm going to make myself a nice little bead. I'm just going to copy it over and over and uh, slightly change things on it. Okay, so let's find ourselves a nice little uh, gradient in our swatch library. Um, metallics. This is kind of shiny. I think I want to try a fade. Let's try fades. All right. Let's Let's get really dramatic. Let's do like that. Okay, now you're not really going to see it that much just because uh, you're dealing with something. Okay, let's do that. Uh, okay, I think that works. And anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab my new shape and I'm going to. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm just going to grab my shape again. Completely new. There, I'm going to grab it. I think it's going to be fine, but we shall see. I'm just grabbing it, I'm copying it, I'm putting it wherever it'll fit, and then turning it a little bit so that it fits into the spots. Uh, you can just kind of do a little yanking around, changing the shape. Like I said, this is a glass, it's sort of a natural product, so if the beads don't ex look exactly the same size, that's going to work just fine. Okay, so we're just copying all our beads. Now, you can't see much of it because it's not in, uh, in um, color yet. But we're just copying this little flower over here. You can see it there, 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 there. Okay, so turn that puppy around. Okay, move it into spot. Okay, we're doing good. Okay. So now we're great. Now we just need to do these little, uh, let me move this puppy over here. Okay, we have a little branch here and a little branch here. So I'm going to copy this and say again. Grab him and just stick him over here and spin him a little bit and uh, fit him where he's supposed to go. So we're just copying our flower. A little bit tedious, but you know. There. All right, this one, I'm going to grab it and just. I think that'll work. Okay, let's see. He's a little more twirl. Okay, let's spin a little bit more. Okay, you can see the color sort of. All right, and now I'm just going to lengthen this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There. Okay. So we're almost ready. I think I'm going to copy it and put it down here. Okay, let's turn that a bit. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So I think we're almost ready. Okay, let's, okay, so let's copy the last one. Grab him, put him over here, spin. And then we're just gonna make some circles for our beads and colorize them as well. Okay, let's do the copy again. All right, let's grab him over here. It's like, what is she doing? I can't see anything. It's kind of hard to do it like this. You can colorize it with another color. 
Okay, so we're done. We have our little flower, and you'll see it right now when I just take this big thing in the back and erase it. So there's our flower. Okay, this guy, I think I want to make him a little longer. I'm just going to close that gap like that. Okay, there. Okay. All right. And you can move stuff over. Cheat things around. Okay. All right. Maybe let me cheat you up a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we have our flower. Now what I want to do is I'm going to grab this whole thing, this bunch of stuff. I'm going to grab the whole thing and group it. Let's say object, group. Okay. And I'm going to do a little turn on this whole thing. I want to do this diagonal because I'm going to make a pattern that's going to run diagonally. And uh, that way it's going to have a staggered look. You'll understand when it's actually done. Because right now it's like, what is she talking about? But now the next thing I need to do is I need to give myself a guide for the pattern repeat. So it's going to have to be an exact square. So the height needs to get a little bit bigger. Okay. The problem with this is that, oh, okay, let's just get rid of that, and we'll make a little square for ourselves. That's good. Make a little red square so I can, whoa, that's a fat red square. Okay, let's just go down a little bit. Okay, just I just need a guide. This square ultimately is going to be erased. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab these puppies. I want to give myself, actually, what I want to do, I'm going to grab our red square. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of margin all around because I'm going to add beads all around this square. And I'm going to make myself a repeat that way. So I'm going to grab the next thing. It would have been nice if I had actually kept the pattern up for a few more minutes and gotten the size of the ball. But I, the uh, seed beads. Oh, hello, what happened here? Oh, goodness. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to make a circle, perfect circle. Very nice. And now it has a red hmm, edge, which I don't like, but I'm just going to change it to black for now because it is a black bead. And I'm going to try some of my fades. Uh, not on there, but on the fill. Okay, I'm going to go back there. Okay, so do I like that? I don't know if I do because it is kind of a radial kind of a thing. Let's do that. Uh, no, I don't want a radial there. You silly computer. I want a radial here on the fill. Okay, that fill, I don't know why the radial looks so strange. Let me reverse it. It doesn't really do much. All right, you know what? Let's try this as a radial. Okay, let's go radial backwards. Okay, I think I'm going to make this shine a little bit shinier. Okay, um, let me see if I can do an angle on this. I don't know if it'll actually do anything. No, it's not going to do anything. All right. Okay, very good. Hmm. All right. So let's see what we got. All right, I think it'll work. Now let's zoom in even more. We're going to zoom into like 69%. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our little pearl and whatever it is, seed bead, glass seed bead. Whoa, this, there. Okay, pretty good. Um, I'm going to try one more thing. I want to try something really crazy. I never really tried this one before. I'm going to try it as a radial, and I'm going to go this way. And reverse the gradient. Let me see if I can do something. And that's, and then I'm going to move the, spread that out a little bit. I think that's not bad, actually. I'm not totally disliking it. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so that is our bead. So let's copy. Copy, paste, copy, paste, and paste, 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 paste. Okay, we're just pasting a bunch of these little fellas over here. I'm just grabbing them. I'm going to make a line of them, and then I'm going to group them, and I'm just going to plop them all over the place. And that is going to be our repeat. So let's quickly just do that. All right. Oh, what happened here? I don't want this. Goodbye. Remind me later. Thank you very much. 
Isn't that lovely when your computer just ruins everything? <laughs> Thank you, Apple. I also don't like receiving reminders of uh, how old my Apple phone is and how I really need to get a new one. Really not cool. Uh, and also very greedy. <laughs> okay, so let's say object group. They're grouping the objects. And if they're a little uneven, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to copy them and say copy paste. Remember, beads are hand done, so they're not going to be perfectly square or perfect. I mean, well, on this, the bugle beads are not going to be perfect rectangles, and the seed beads are definitely not going to be perfectly round. So let's do that. Okay, well, okay, let me grab you. Oh, you. Goodbye. Okay, so next, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab this bunch of beads, and I'm going to grab this bunch of beads, and I'm going to group those again. Group. Okay, and then I'm going to say copy paste, and I'm going to just travel on to the other side of my sketch, my uh, bead pattern, like so. Do -do -do -do. And okay, so we're doing pretty well. Okay, um, next we're going to say copy paste, and we're going to do that at a 90 degree angle. Let's go there. 90 degrees. I'm going to have to erase a couple of these guys, but that's okay. Grab it and go. Grab and go. All right, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to grab him. Oops, wrong tool. Okay, grab you. Goodbye, grab you, goodbye. Okay. Okay, so now next, grab this, say copy paste, and we're going to put this back. All right, so this is going to go like, whoa, why is that doing that? It should be perfectly matched to some degree. Okay, move you down. Okay. All right, so now we have our little circle. I mean, our little square, rather. These, I'm um, a little bit like, why is this so staggered? But I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, what happened here? Goodbye. Okay, I'm going to grab this guy, and then I'm going to go to the... Uh, I want to just give this a little bit of a spin on it. Yeah, because this is not really cool. This looks... Mm, just 90. Some of them look good and some of them look terrible. So I'm going to just grab individual ones. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to make the um, beads, the gl the, gl the uh, shine on the beads run along the edge of it because that's the way it would naturally go. Okay, Ooh, maybe I need to do more like a 30. There you go. So now we're cooking with oil, okay. And these, you just wanna play around with it so that the angle of the shine of the bead is, maybe like a 30%, matches more or less the, um, the direction of the bead. Okay, so we're pretty good, I think. These I'm not crazy about, but let me just, Oh, nope. No, 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 no. One eighty. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I think that looks better. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to grab one of these and start filling up things. Okay. First thing I want to do is fill up this gap here. Let's Oh, what the heck? Okay. So I'm just filling this up with beads, and I'm doing the best I can to make some kind of a pattern that doesn't leave too many holes. Like that. Okay. And remember, you can move stuff. You can move stuff to make it fit your pattern. Oh. 
Okay, let's go ahead and move that and make it a little bit more of a triangle. It makes my life easier. And whoever else is doing this type of thing. So you just give yourself... Remember, you're like zoomed in a lot, so you think, oh my god, this looks terrible. It's not that bad. It's not that bad because you're working on something that's going to be... Right now we're at 16... Hundred percent. So it it's gonna work out. Don't worry about it. I mean, there's gonna be spots. What you can do if you're really concerned is you can do a background in a darker color. Um, let me just stick that in there. But it'll be fine. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Okay. So now when you have this situation where you have a bunch of beads and they're like kind of like clumping into each other, which is actually what beads do. You can actually cheat. Let's cheat. Okay, so I'm going to put one in here, which fits. Here I have a spot that I want to stick a bead in because it's just too big. So I'm just going to scooch on over stuff. Oh, that didn't work out. That changed the shape of the bead. Okay. And I'm just going to say copy paste. Just accommodate whatever, wherever you can. Okay. So that's good. All right, so now we have a bunch of beads. We can actually try to maybe, I don't know, use them, copy, use them. Well, the thing is, is that if you looked at the original, they weren't exactly perfectly squared off. They were kind of like staggered and moved around because that's what beads do against each other. They kind of like rotate against each other. So, what you can do is make a weird shape that could hopefully fit into a lot of places and just kind of like make a, a group of it, make a grouping of them and just stick them all over the place and then fill in the gaps. And if you're lucky enough, it'll go quickly. And sometimes things like this fight you. The artwork is like pain in the neck, whatever. It can happen. Trust me, it happens all of the time. But you can actually get a lot done like that. Okay, so we did this little spot here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this weird V-shape. I'm just going to do this. Okay. Actually, no. I'm going to grab this one, and I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to say copy, paste, and I'm just going to shove it in there. And there, that works out pretty well. And then I'm going to say paste again. And I'm going to shove that in there now. And then I'm just going to get rid of this one and move this guy down. And this one. And I'm just going to get rid of it. And then these, these guys, I'm just going to like cheat them around. Cheat them around. And move them this way and that until they get into some kind of positioning. Okay, ooh, that was a big jump. Okay, maybe I can stick one in there. Huh. Let me see. Okay, so now we're getting someplace. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that again. Or actually, I'm just going to say V again and see what, I, ooh, that didn't work out. Okay, I'm just going to grab again and the new shapes that I've done. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going, say copy, paste can always just, okay, oh, yeah, that one's going to definitely need to be moved, yeah, the top one, this guy over here is just like nowhere, okay, okay, now I'll do that again, just keep getting stuff in, you can either erase or swap things out, here, these two don't work, so I'm just going to shove one here, and the other one I'm going to put over wherever here, wherever it fits, Hmm, it's a little bit too, all right, okay, just squeeze, squeeze them in, okay, uh, okay, and this one needs to be moved up, okay, there, okay, actually, I can do this bunch again, now, let's do it here, so again, just copy a bunch of them, stamp them around, get where you need to be, and there. And again, if you have some spottage, it's okay as long as it's not huge. If it is a little too big, you can, you're uncomfortable with it, move things around. Okay. Shift. Uh, this is the most 
tedious exercise of this particular type of drawing. Uh, it is very important, though, that you do this because um, you will be, I mean, as a product development person, I did a lot of beaded bags, even though it wasn't my thing. You wind up doing a lot of it. You have to really know how to get stuff in a way that is going to be expeditious and the buyer will be happy and your boss will be happy with it and you won't be afraid that you're going to be fired. Okay, so tedious, yes. Important, very. Beating comes and goes. It comes in waves. It's not like you're going to see it all the time, but, you know, every so often a holiday piece comes around and all of a sudden you're, like, doing tons of beating. You're like, oh, God, but... That's what it is, my children. Okay, here we go. So now we have this bunch of beads. Let me see if I can just shove them in here. Please be shoved. No, you don't want to be. You don't want to play nice, huh? Oh, well. So what? All right. So we'll move you guys around. Naughty fellows. Okay, let's see if we can, how well we can do this. Okay, so now I'm going to take these ones. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you're like, oh, no, how do I? get a bead in here. Now, if you're really having problems, you can actually cheat and make some of the beads smaller, which actually is not really cheating because beads are actually not the same size. They're made of glass. So, and there are many cases like, almost like hand done. I mean, there's mechanisms that do it, but it's more of a crafty thing. So you're not going to be, like, totally off if you, uh, well, if you, let me just make it a teensy bit smaller. Don't go crazy with this and just, like, make everything too small here. So you just grab your small beads and try to stick them in where they might fit. Okay, so now we've done most of what our, I'm going to take that small bead and stick it over here. Yeah. All right, very nice. There. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can stick that small bead someplace else, like here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we've covered a lot of ground. Now what we can do is actually, I'm going to take a bunch of these and just stick them in the corner. My other corner, I'm going to flip them. I'm just going to grab a lot, a lot, a lot of beads. I make myself a corner, and I'm just going to... Dope it right there on the bottom. And it's going to be fine because beads are uneven. They don't really sit against each other well. Uh, maybe even more. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. We'll see what we can do. Do as much as you can. Make your life simpler. And then move things around. All right. So now I got a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to say copy, paste, and then I'm going to flip it. So I'm going to my reflex reflection tool or reflect tool. I'm going to put this like this in horizontal and flip it. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to vertical. So it's a double flip. Okay, let's see what, what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to stick that in the corner. <laughs> Not too shabby. Okay, so I filled all that up. Uh, can let me move you down a little bit? I need you to. Oh, cute little beads. Okay. So now our beads are good. Now I'm going to grab this bunch of beads and I'm going to copy it a bunch of times. Maybe I want to copy two layers and just make myself a little, be a little bit more industrious. Say copy paste. And I'm boogulating beads all over the place. Okay, so now I have some spots here that I'm not terribly happy with, so I have to move them. So let's move this bead over here, this bead over here, and this is probably where we're going to have to use those smaller beads, or make some smaller beads. There we go. Okay, so now you can see what we're up against. Okay, I'm just going to put that over there. I think it still fits barely. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this one over here, and these I'm going to scooch up a ton, teensy bit there. And so am I going to do these. Okay. So, there. Okay, so let's see. I think these four little guys are going to come up here. I'm going to shove them in here. Okay. There you go. And this one can get moved down. 
Oop. So it doesn't infringe too much on the other bead. Okay, very good. So now, let's see. Copy, paste. Uh, hmm. Where's that small bead when you need it? Okay, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. And I'm just doing the corner pieces that are going to be a pain in the neck. Okay, so now here, I think I can just use these. Let me just do these and see if I can just run them over here. Say copy, paste. All right. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to take these three. Maybe four. Let me see. Copy, paste. All right. And put this down over here. Okay, and this guy is going to go over here. Beautiful, okay. Take another couple of singlets and stick them around. Okay. Alright, so these three, let's see if they'll go in here. Copy, paste. So we're almost done. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So this guy's going to go over here. This little one, I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm just going to fill up this area. Okay, one. This one can go up. And we're almost ready. Now, wherever you see, like, a huge hole, fill it up with something. Probably a bead. Okay. Okay, I'm not too unhappy with the way this came out. And it's working out pretty fast, so it's good. Okay, so let's see. We're good with this. Okay, so now the next step is first make sure that you're happy with your beads. And if there's any spots that need help, help them. Okay. So, okay. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to zoom out even more. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of the red square and now I'm going to group the whole thing looks pretty nice yep I'm going to do object group okay and one thing I want to try actually is I want to try to see if I can put a stroke around them all of them an inch and see what that does does that make a difference? Mmm, that's too wide. Now, let's do it again. I think I want to do a stroke. I want to do a little stroke because... Oh, that's interesting. A white stroke. No, not at all what I wanted. Uh, no. Okay, this one has to be black. And I'm going to go up to 25 stroke okay I think I like it now I'm seeing here one spot that I at a distance I see that there's there should be something there okay so let me just go here and grab this fellow over here I'm gonna get him down I'm gonna grab this little one here and say copy paste and just fill that in okay all right so now we have our spot we're gonna say group again because of the extra work now we're going to do something called, oh, we're going to first grab the whole thing, and then we're going to uh, go and make this a flattened, you know what, let's rasterize and see how it looks. We're going to go pretty high, hopefully it's not going to be too high, but it's better than a photograph. So I'm going to rasterize and say, okay, so now, oh, that didn't work too well. Okay. Let's try to flatten the image and see if that'll do anything. Okay. Uh, now let me zoom out. Too light. All right, let's go back. Let's do control Z. And then we're going to go back and rasterize it, I guess. Okay. All right. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to well, I'm not going to do the rasterization yet. I have a better idea. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cube and I'm going to put it behind here. And I'm going to make it like a gray tone. 
No, not that. I want to make the cube gray. What I'm trying to do here, okay, object, arrange, send to back. Okay, so now I'm a little bit happier with this. The back white background on that was not doing too well, so I'm going to say cancel that. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to grab this whole thing again. Cancel. I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to group it. Object group again, and then I'm going to rasterize it and see how that looks. Yes, I know. Let me see if there's any other way. All right, let's do it. Okay. Say okay. So now we have a rasterized image with a gray background as opposed to a white one, which was kind of annoying me. All right. Um, I don't know. The one thing that I do not like is these guys do not look. Oh, sorry. These guys. I'm not crazy about the way that uh, they they look. I what I want to do is I'm going to change the. Uh, the coloration. I'm gonna try, and I'm going to make the shine a little bit more dramatic. Okay, I like it, but now they've flipped around again. So what I have to do, unfortunately, is go back and do a little angling on that. Let's see, there, maybe even more, sixty. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that looks more like it, this, except for this guy. This guy's like a little bit off. So let me just do an angle on that. No. Maybe 30? No. That'll be like, what, 135. Okay, perfect. So now I have this again. So we have our grouped picture. We're going to rasterize it again. And hopefully it'll look better. Yes, that looks much better. Okay, so now we can grab this image and then we're going to say crop image. So we've created this image that we're going to try to make, hopefully, a re repeat out of. So that's why I made that little frame of beads around it so they kind of kiss each other. Okay, so the width. Okay, the height is a little bit off, so let's keep going. We're trying to get a perfect square. There's no such thing as perfect anything, but pretty close to perfect. Okay, so I'm going to say, yay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our lovely swatch and put it over here. And now I'm going to finally, after all that tedious work, I'm going to go to our original bag. Like, forgot about it, didn't you? Okay, here. So we're going to go to Direct Select Tool, and we're going to hit our... Oh, wow, that looks nice. But I think it's a little too big, so I'm going to just reduce that by, no, not 50%, like 20%. I'm going to just go to 80%. And that's good. And we're going to say Transform Patterns Only. Ah, beautiful. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, rotate the image, but just the patterns. I want to do it like that. Let's see how that looks. A little too much. A little bit less, like that. Okay, let's try 24. No. Now it's on the side. Come on. There. Okay, beautiful. So now we have what we were looking for. We can finish this bag, so let's zoom in. Zoom in, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, shift. Shift. And shift. I'm just grabbing all my little pieces. And we're doing great. Look at that beautiful pattern you made. And the beads are kissing. Now you can see more or less the uh, repeat somewhat. And there, we grabbed all our pieces here, our little thing, thingamajiggers. We're going to grab this and go, boom, we have a bag. Isn't that lovely? So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these parts, and I'm going to color them with a metallic. So I'm going to go into my swatch library, and I'm going to gradient, and I'm going to go to metallics, and I'm just going to say light, light gold. And here, I want to do like... A diamondy kind of a thing. Okay, 
Let me see how it's like a, that. No, that looks horrible. Okay, let's go back to this. And I'm just going to twirl it a little bit. Ah, beautiful. So, so now we have our like rhinestone fake diamond. What else do we need? Um, you can actually say, I'm done. This is fabulous. See you tomorrow. Or you can add a shadow, which is what I'm going to do now because I like doing things like this. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a shadow. Like this woman's crazy. I hope her husband loves her because she's nuts. Okay, here we go. So you're like, what on earth is she doing? I'm just making a nice kind of... shape here that is actually going to get faded out a lot because I'm going to use opacities to change it. And let me see. I'm just going to use a gray scale on it a gray color that I'm going to make opaque. So I'm almost done here. Okay, there. We want it not to obliterate this because it is important. Okay. Okay, so now we have our shape. I'm going to color this into a dark gray, which is like maybe even black. And I'm going to go opacity down. Okay, now we have a shadow. Let's get back and see what that looks like. Ta-da! Actually, not ta-da yet. I think, I think, first of all, I don't like this shape here. This shape is a little bit weird. Let me just move that, make it a little bit more even. Okay. And this one, too. Yeah, I don't like that either. Okay, so now, I'm going to go a little bit higher on that. It's darker. I'm going to say, now we're going to say ta-da! Okay, so we're finished, and I hope you enjoyed this class, and I hope to see you next time. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for more fantabulous bag product development sketching and digital sketching. Okay, bye!